Greetings, and welcome to Roman of the Empire. I'm your host, Roman. Today we're going to talk about Disney Marvel. And it's not, I'm not going to talk long because it doesn't need to be a long discussion, but with Hawkeye making its debut, I wanted to talk about what's called last season of Disney Marvel, um, and then what we're looking forward to coming up. And the good and the bad. So, everything basically started with WandaVision, which was okay and ended up being largely disappointing. And there, there are a lot of reasons for that. The, the Monica Rambeau portion of it was extremely forced and didn't, I think, relate to a lot of people, they're like, who is this person? And I get it, if you weren't following Captain Marvel or whatever, but most of these characters are characters who people are familiar with. And But th th that whole show from the, 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 the I Love Lucy beginning was, was interesting. And the sad part was the more it became more like a real show, the worse it got. Which uh, ain't good. So then we had the... Make sure I'm getting my, my, my line right here. I believe Falcon and Winter Soldier was... Yes, it was. And I have to admit, overall, I enjoyed this show. A lot of people didn't. There, there, the social messaging in it was... There was a lot of punch-you-in-the-face stuff. Which, if you had taken out, would have, still, would have at least been an interesting uh, storyline. It didn't have to be uh, so flawed. And I've said this before... You can have um, a moral understory. Doctor Who and Star Trek have done that forever. Except, well, not not so much now. But um, this one laid it on very thick. And it made the show far less enjoyable. Um, I liked the John Walker character. I thought he was good. I, I loved uh, the interaction between Bucky and... Uh, the Falcon. But then they had to kind of take a shit on it. They really didn't talk about the Avengers a lot. The hero, the, I'm sorry, the heroes, the villains in it were horrible. They were super soldiers who didn't look like super soldiers. They looked like 20 year old kids with bad hair um, and didn't have enough money to go to the gap. It was the, the non bulked up super soldier is a stupid concept. And it doesn't make for a, a visually interesting series. That was probably my, my biggest complaint. That and, like I said, the, uh, the beat you in the face social stuff. But, you know, what are you going to do? The um, Loki. <sighs> Loki. I didn't like Loki. I wanted to like Loki. Because I like the character of Loki. And uh, Loki, uh, as many have said, was a guest on his own program. And was just it was just not it was not good TV. The uh, the best thing about the Loki show was Alligator Loki, and that's not that's not a big uh, that's not a big move forward. That's just uh, it's Alligator Loki. The What If series, I really really enjoyed the What If series. That's been my favorite thing that they've done. They had a couple episodes that were not as good, but overall the series was good from the. The Agent Carter start episode, I'm sorry, the Captain Carter start episode to the, the climax of bringing all these characters together was really interesting. My favorite episode was still in Marvel Zombies, but all of those played out really well. The, so the, the weak link in, in all of this is their, their live action programs. And now we have Hawkeye that's come onto the scene, and... There, there are many versions of this. <laughs> it's, is it as bad as Loki? Is it as bad as uh, WandaVision? Yes and no. There are a lot of things that they put forward. Um, Kate Bishop, who is a character that most of you have probably never heard of. She's, her parents died in the attacks on New York. And she's suddenly the best at everything. Well, Hawkeye's been training at this shit his, his entire life. And he's not enhanced, but 
to say he's not super is, uh, I don't think, an accurate statement. I could train for years and years and years and not be, I'm not going to be that guy. Um, so it's a bit of a ridiculous leap, and I understand the, the whole pushing of female leads. There are and have been wonderful female leads. Hawkeye is Hawkeye. Hawkeye is Clint Barton. That's who it is. You can you can call it something else, but that doesn't make it so. And that's what this show is doing. Hawkeye and is 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 Jeremy uh, Renner going to be in the show after this? Is he going to be in the MCU after this? Who knows? Who knows? Um, there are other things that are going to be coming back um, that I, I don't have a lot. Of, I don't have a lot of high hopes for. We I, I talked about the Disney Marvel thing uh, coming up. The um, Agatha series, I have literally zero interest in. She-Hulk might be all right. Might be all right. The problem with Marvel is it can't get out of its own way, and it's not making content for the fans. They're making content for themselves and who their writers are and who their writers want you to be. That's swell, uh, but these are not talented these are not talented writers, directors. These are not the people who brought you the Infinity Saga. This is, let's call them the B team. And that's probably being really generous. They are not, they are not those writers. So the programs and content you're going to get isn't going to be as good. It can't be. I, I'd love it if it were. But the track record thus far, and now entering into this new phase with Hawkeye, isn't good. Uh, I mean, it's 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 like watching a relative die who used to be a super strong person and then uh, has withered away with cancer. This is a cultural cancer, and it's killing Marvel. Maybe uh, they'll get it under control. Maybe the doctor will come in and carve it out, or maybe the patient dies on the table, sad and alone. Let's uh, let's hope for uh, let's hope for change, good change, and make Marvel uh, something that people can strive to uh, try to be like these characters who they're seeing on the screen. Uh, people like Tony Stark and Captain America, and not uh, uh, whiny, jealous creatures. Anyway, that's my take. I just wanted to share it, and uh, this is Roman of the Empire, signing off, be kind.